In this video, I'm going to show you how we got things for as little as free and sold them for big profit. Hello, my name is Margaret and I am a full-time reseller. Today I'll be showing you over 50 things that we have picked up for as little as zero dollars and sold on platforms like eBay, Etsy, Mercari, and locally on Facebook Marketplace to make well over $5,000. I'm Margaret and with my partner Juan, we have a combined 10 years experience selling on eBay and other platforms. We make videos helping resellers like yourself become more successful. If you are a new reseller or just wanting to ramp up your income, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the videos that might help you reach those goals. First up, these are a pair of candlesticks. They're red glass candlesticks. I bought them at Goodwill and paid $4 for them and they sold for $115. I would say these have been listed for, they were probably listed for about six months before they finally sold. This was a book that we got in a huge magazine lot uh, at a garage sale for $60. It had all kinds of uh, vintage mad magazines, National Lampoons, and other things like that creepy, you know, horror type magazines. And this was in that lot. So we paid $60 or $65 for all of those boxes. And we sold this for $70. This again was also in that same lot, paid 60, I want to say $65 for all of the boxes. And this sold for $80. As you might guess, this was also in that lot and it sold for $90. This is a bracelet by Robert Quo. I'm sure I'm saying his name wrong. I got this in a Goodwill blue box and it sold for $85. Goodwill blue boxes are mystery boxes. They're about five pounds of jewelry and you don't know what you're going to get. And uh, I think the price has gone up on them. I think they're $45 or $50 now. Uh, you get the box, you really it could be just junk. It's a it's a gamble, uh, but I enjoy opening them and getting them. And this was in one of those and it sold again for $85. This is something I got for free. This is why I really advocate for you to tell people what you do other family, friends, because they might have things that you can resell that they're willing to give you rather than donating it to the thrift store. So a friend of mine gave me nine big long boxes of comics for free. So this came from that lot and this sold for 49, well, $50 basically. This was another, it went, all of my Watchmen comics went to one buyer. So I just pulled the $50 plus ones. But again, this person bought, I believe 12 of them. Some of them were $20. It was a really big purchase for that. That person ended up being about three or $400 for all of the comics that they bought. So this was uh, $50. This was also in that lot, $50. I know sometimes you'll see people selling a big lot of comics and, and it might be like sticker shock at first, but if you break it down, it might be worth it. And for us, I mean, $65 is not that much, but it might be for somebody else. I bought a big tub of buttons for 25 bucks. And for me, that was more than I initially wanted to spend, but I'm glad I did it because it's brought in a lot of money. This is a fan that I got at a Goodwill for $7 and it sold for $45. This one was a pain to ship, but I did it anyway. <laughs> this is a vase that I got at a garage sale. I believe I paid $3 for this and it sold for $88. And again, this one was stamped on the bottom. There just wasn't a whole lot like it. So there, there wasn't anything that I could say, you know, look for this. Generally, earthenware, if it looks like it's in good shape, it's got a mark. If it's cheap enough, then I'll pick it up. This I got for free as well. We went to a garage sale. It was a moving sale at a, an apartment and they were moving overseas. So they had everything on the on their porch uh, for free and all of their Christmas stuff was out there. And so this is something that I found on their porch and I brought it home and sold it for $50. I picked up these four silver plate cups at Savers for, I believe, three or four dollars, and these sold for fifty-five dollars. I got this at the Goodwill near my house. I spent three dollars on this. I'd never seen anything like it, and I couldn't find any solds uh, or anything similar. And it's a like a septic tank, right? But it's a piggy bank, so it's like an advertising promotional item from this company. But it's a septic tank piggy bank, fifty dollars. Another one from the lot that I got, yes, this sold for $199.99, $200 for this one. This is a vintage Fisher Price, no, Play School, a Sesame Street house. I got this at a garage sale for $4 and it sold for $85. It had a lot of the accessories, not all of the characters, not all of the accessories, and that's what really helped it sell. But as you can see, it still had some condition issues, some damage with uh, some peeling on it, but it still sold for $85. 
I talked about this in one of my last videos. These are Lucite grapes, uh, and these four sold for $67.99. I had some others that I also bought from this particular garage sale, and they I sold them individually for like $20 a piece, but these sold for $67.99. And this particular garage sale was one that I, it was one of those dream garage sales that I wish I could go back and, and st spend longer picking through the stuff, because I feel like I could have found more but there was just so much. I can't really put a price on what I, for each item, because I had such a big pile of stuff, and I believe I walked out of there spending $45, uh, and this was part of what I got there. I got these two vases at a garage sale for $4. They were in pretty rough shape on the inside. They were pretty rusty and like corroded, so they could have actually gone for a lot more if they were in better condition. So these were Chokin Black Japanese mixed metal vases. They sold for $50. This is Jack-Jack. They're little punching um, puppets, right? And the raccoon and the Jack-Jack make noises and they sold for $67.99. I got these at the Goodwill near my house for, I believe, $7 or $8. And if you notice down in the bottom here, it's it says YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Um, I made a little video to put in this listing. This sold on Etsy, uh, but on eBay, you can embed the video into the listing. And that way they could hear the sounds and see that they were working and everything like that. So that's what that is. These are a pair of canvas Doc Martens. I bought these at Goodwill for about $10 and they sold for $90. I picked up this napkin holder, letter holder at a garage sale for $3 and it sold for $50. I got this calligraphy set at a garage sale for $2 and it sold for $45. This sold on Mercari. I actually sold two of these cast iron pigs. This was a piggy bank. I got them each for one of my kids when uh, I was pregnant with them, not really thinking in advance that like cast iron piggy banks aren't the best idea for children. But uh, yes, yeah, so I got those for my kids and realized this is not gonna happen and sold them both for $45. Now I bought Wally -E new. I bought Wally -E for $69.99 new when it came out. Uh, I like to buy Lego new when I think it's something that's going to be a hit and going to increase in value when they become discontinued. So I was willing to spend a little bit more on Wally -E so that I could make a good profit when this Lego set went discontinued. Now these boots are something I would not have even looked at. This is one of Juan's first pickups when we started garage selling together and I'm so glad that he started teaching me some of the things he knows. So these are men's Iron Ranger boots. We got three, four pairs. We got four pairs of them for, I think he said 180 for $180. And for me, I was like, no, I'm not going to spend $180 on some shoes. But he said, no, Margaret, trust me, I know what I'm doing. And we got all four pair and they all sold. Some of them, one pair sold the next day, others sold within four weeks. So these sold for $110. This is a ginger jar. This is something else I like picking up. I spent about $3 on this ginger jar and it sold on Etsy for $75. This is another magazine from the lot that we got for $65 and this sold for $70 and this was on eBay. And if you're curious about cross posting on different platforms, I use List Perfectly as a paid platform, but it helps me list so much faster. I can get things cross posted on all the different platforms I sell on. There's even platforms I don't sell on that they um, tie in with. So if you're interested in that, I have a, a coupon code down below and I'll link a video. I don't know where it pops up up here. I'll link a video uh, showing you what it's all about. So this came from a Loot Crate subscription box that I used to get for Firefly. It was just for fun that we would get them at the house and, and we just enjoyed it. But I realized that we really don't need this stuff. So I started selling the things that we were getting from those boxes. And the, I think the boxes were about $45 for everything. And this sold for $100. I picked up this trinket jewelry box at a garage sale for two or $3. And it sold on Mercari for $84. These also came from the Loot Crate Firefly box, and these were little mini posters. It was a big roll of, of them, eight of them, and they sold for $100 as well. Here's another pair of those boots that we got, the four pairs for $180. These sold for $185. And these are, this is a Yeti hat. You'll see a couple of these Yeti hats along the way. Uh, Juan bought a bunch of Yeti hats from a guy at $5 a piece. So this one sold for $90. These are the ones that sold the next day. These uh, are another pair of the boots that we got and these sold for $200 within 24 hours. 
And these sold on Facebook Marketplace. And here's the fourth pair. It sold for $175. Again, I didn't know anything about these kind of shoes. Luckily, he was there to help me, and we made quite a bit of profit on those boots. This is a ring that I got from a Goodwill Blue Box, and it sold for $75. I picked up this lamp at a garage sale for $10. I fell in love with it. It was cast iron and slag glass, and I realized I don't want to ship this because it's cast iron and glass, and I was, I don't know, kind of beside myself, like, what did I do? Because at this, at this point, I wasn't selling locally yet, so this may have been one of my first local sales beyond what I do with Juan. And so this I got for $10 at a garage sale and sold it locally for $160. I got this item for free at a garage sale. This was in a community sale. They had tons of stuff. And the funny thing was, most of the other things at this garage sale were really expensive. They priced them very high. I held up this Trapper Keeper thinking, oh great, what are they gonna, they gonna say on this one? And they just said, eh, just take that old thing. So I did, and I sold it for $80. I got this at the Goodwill for $7 and sold it for $74.99. This was a really big, heavy vase. I picked up this paperweight at the Goodwill for about $4 and it sold for $56. This is a uranium glass. This is one that's got the uranium in it and it'll glow under a black light if you shine the black light on it. Uh, I got this at a garage sale for $2 and it sold for $45. The same garage sale where I got those grapes, I got this Apple uh, plug. I don't even know what it's a plug for, but it was in our big pile of stuff that we walked out of there spending $45 and this sold for 60 bucks. I got the these Doc Martens at a garage sale for $5 and sold them for $60. This is an Omega Swatch. Juan bought this new, I believe it was $200 or $160. It was in that realm um, that he paid for this. And this is another one of those where I was like, you are bananas. But they, he knew that they were really hot and people wanted them. So he went and bought one. And then because they're scarce, we were able to flip it on eBay for $414. Here's another one of the Yeti hats that we picked up for $5 that sold for $50. I got this train lamp at a garage sale for about $4. And it I actually put a video in this one as well because the it spins on the inside so it makes it look like the, the smoke is coming out like chugging chugging, right? Uh, and so this one sold for $106. Another Yeti hat. Again, picked it up for $5, sold it for 50. This is another bracelet that I got from a Goodwill Blue Box and it sold for about $100. This is the Ikea lamp that looks kind of like the Death Star, but when you pull it, it kind of pulls apart. I spent $20 on this at a garage sale. It was still in the box and it sold for $83. Another Yeti hat sold for $70. With Juan, we've started branching out into doing a lot more local sales. We pick up a lot of free items and a lot of those things, which are bulkier, we end up flipping on Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to link a playlist to show you all the different ways that you can find free things to sell. And this is one of those things that we picked up for free and we sold it locally for $50. This is one of those, kind of like what I have behind me, one of these room dividers. This is a Troy built lawnmower. This person was moving and they didn't need their lawnmower anymore. And rather than sell it, they were just giving all of this stuff away. We got this, we got a weed eater. I didn't share this, the weed eater in the video. I didn't have pictures of it anymore, but we got this and a whole bunch of other stuff. And this sold the very next day for $200. We actually picked up another garage sale and one of those metal gas cans like two days ago, and we sold it today for $80. Another thing that sells really well is play kitchens, especially the one from Ikea. This is an Ikea play kitchen. Once again, we got this for free and it sold for $65. The kinds of things that we pick up for free are our furniture pieces. A lot of Ikea stuff sells really well, really quickly. Juan does a lot with appliances, stoves, refrigerators, washers, dryers. If you're wanting to learn more about where to find free things to pick up to sell, check out this playlist that I made for you. And YouTube thought that you would enjoy this video right here. And subscribe to the channel right here. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.